Hello, this is Heng from Campbell Tutorial. In this video, we are gonna create a simple real-time database Firebase. And with this tutorial, we will learn how to connect Firebase and insert the data with it. After all, we will play along with the update, delete and display the pagination in the recycler view. Here, what we gonna do today. We have a form with the two edit text and the submit button to insert the data in the Firebase. And we don't have to implement any lines of the server code. So without further ado, let's get started. So firstly, we're going to create a Firebase real-time database. So let's go to the Firebase console. We're gonna click here to create a new project. And this, we're gonna name it as a Fire app and we're gonna hit the continue button. And this page just lets us know do we want to get analytic with all of this or not. So we just enable it by default. And here we're gonna select for default account and then we hit add the Firebase. Now we are creating the project, so please just wait for this finish very soon. Okay, so we will see this page and we would see a list of the icons in here which are indicated the platforms that we want to build with. So we're going to choose this Android icon to build our Android app. And this we're going to paste the package name of the Android app. If we hover over there, we will see where we're going to get those from. So let's go to the Android project, create our file, and we're going to copy this application ID. And here we're going to pass it back and then we hit the register button. And then now we're gonna see this instruction. So let's just click on this button to download the JSON config file. And then we're gonna copy that thing. Then go to the Android Studio. We're gonna switch this Android to the project view. And then we pass it into the structure. Then we're gonna switch this to the preview view. Okay, then go to the browser. And now we're gonna click the next button. And this section, we're gonna add the play service in a greater file, but it is in the project file. So let's copy that. And then paste it here. Now here is for a grid all in Apple well. What we're gonna do is copy this plugin Google service and paste it. And now we're gonna copy this Firebase bomb. Okay, this Firebase bomb is helpers when we use another dependencies of the Firebase, we can uh, use add dependencies without put any specific version. And that's going to be pull the dependencies which uh, match the bomb version. So next we're going to go to this URL link to get a Firebase real-time database dependencies. So let's copy this dependency and we're going to paste it into the creator file again with the implement keyword. And then we're gonna hit the sync to download all the dependencies. Okay, while it's downloading, we would go to finish the instruction page. The functions that we will use is the real-time database in here. So we're gonna create a database. So let's create that. And here is the database location where we want to store. So we're gonna choose the first one. And then about the security rules, we can setting later on with the validating rules, permission read write access to our data. But uh, for basically, we're gonna choose this test mode option, which is allow access read write until the specific period of time. So right now we can see the instance data which have no any children data. Also we have a uh, different tabs which is for configuration rules that we have set it at the moment. 
And for the last is the for manipulate the summary report about the users who used for connect to the, our database. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the Android Studio, and what we're going to do with at first, we will design a simple layout which have uh, to edit text and a button for click insert or a submit data. So we're gonna make this faster design because we not importantly focus on that thing. Okay, so it is just designed for better look. We just add a, an image and the important things we have known those ID in here. So then go to the main activity Java class. We're gonna find those reference control by the ID. And we're gonna set the action button, click to perform the insert data to the Firebase. We will uh, define the logic with this action button. And now we're gonna design a new class to control of those uh, business logic, which is we call data access object. All right, so first we're gonna create a model for the holding the employee properties, which should have a name and a position, for example. So let's call this employee and then we're gonna define those properties call this a string name and another one is a string position so then we're gonna generate a constructor which can pass the value through that but remember we have to define an empty public constructor to allow the firebase using the reflection which can help us to pass data from the instant node from a database to our properties back and forth. And then we're gonna generate a getter setter. Okay, so right now we're going to create a new class for the data access object, which we will perform action insert update delete. We're gonna call this a DAO employee. And then we're gonna define a private database reference. And the new constructor, we're gonna instance the Firebase database to get an instant database. And then we're gonna get the reference. And this parameter is a name of our node database. So if we talk about the actual server, we simply can call this just like a table. But in no actual, we are gonna call this node. So we're gonna call this employee dot class dot get simple name, and this which will return the class name employee with the case sensitive. For very first methods that we're going to do with is insert value. So for return type, that's gonna be a task, and the type is white. Okay, we doing return task as a value because we want to separate the pattern, business logic, and the UI. And on the other hand, we easily custom more action 
after or before we insert successfully or fail. For real example, we can define a message to let the user know that record has been inserted or data is invalid or something like that. So we're gonna call this 8 and the parameters we will pass the object employee which is we're gonna insert into the Firebase. And then now we're gonna call a database reference dot push dot set value and we pass the employee object inside that. And this push method will generate a unique key in the node. So we don't need to worry about the duplicate key because it's generated from a timestamp string value that must be now duplicated. Also, when we design class like this, we easily to maintain and validating before we can access or send the data to our server. For example, we can check if the employee object is null or age is less than 18. We can throw the new exception with a custom exception. And this would reduce the communication between the server and the client. And we actually can do that the validating with the security rules in the Firebase console too. Okay, so let's go to the main activity class and we're gonna instant the object of the DAO class to access this method. Then in this button action click, we're gonna create a new object employee to set those data which are we getting from the edit text. So let's say employee emp equal to new employee and first parameter is a edit text name dot get text and we have to convert those to a string by saying dot to string and the second parameter is edit text position dot get text dot to string okay so now we have prepare an object employee so then we're gonna call the methods add from a DAO class. Then we pass the object employee. And the test result is returned back, which is we can listen the callback success and fail. For listen the success callback, we're gonna use add on success listener. And then we're gonna print the message. record is inserted and when fail we can use a on failures listener and then we're gonna print the message error error.get message so now let's run this application and let's see the data in the database change so i'm gonna open this browser it is from my real device, so let's see when we input the data, success or not. Okay, so I'm gonna write an employee. And I'm gonna hit the button. As you can see here, the message is success and the data is inserted into the database. And we're gonna testing with the rules in here. So if we change the right to false, let's see how that's gonna be happened. Okay, we click the button again. And now we see the error message is about the permission which is run the in a failure callback method. So let's change the rule back. And by the way, the Firebase database feature is really work effectively even we submit the offline. We will uh, wait for the connection back to online. And then they automatically send those uh, data to the server directly. So let's see this. I gonna turn off the Wi-Fi. And I'm gonna hit the submit button again. So we can see that it's nothing happened. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the Wi-Fi back and the Wi-Fi is connected. The data is sent to the server. Okay, that's cool. 
So now we help implement the method add. So then we're gonna define an update and delete more. So let's go to the DAO employee class. And we're gonna create a new method which call update with a return as a task. And the parameter we're gonna accept two. One is the ID or the key for identify record, which we have see here. And the other one is for hash map, which is accept the key value pair. And the key is here is the property name, which are name and the position and the values that we want to update. And then we're gonna call the database reference dot child. And child here is the key, which means just like we find the records by ID, then dot update children, which accept the hash map key value pair. And then we're gonna return it to the task back. So let's go to the main activity. We're gonna taste it manually first, and we will connect that with the UI later on. So right now we're gonna comment this insert action, and we're gonna copy that, and then we're gonna create a new instant hash map. with the property key, name, and the position. And then we're gonna pass the virtual values. And for key, we're gonna copy this and paste it here and gonna change the message to the update. So let's run this application again. And now we're gonna change the name employee. I then hit the button. Okay, cool, it's work fine. So let's finish the last one is for remove the node. So let's create a new method for remove with the string key as a parameter. Database reference dot trial and then key dot remove value. So we're gonna comment this code again and we're gonna change to remove method. Okay, let's run scan. And now we don't insert any data. Just hit the button. Okay, now the node is removed. Nice, that's very cool and free feature powered by the Firebase. For the next video, we are gonna make those update remove feature with the UI and we will display the data from the Firebase with the pagination load more functionality. So hope you guys learn from this simple Firebase tutorial and please subscribe, like, share for more interesting video. Bye bye.